Yo guys, see what going on. This is your boy Chaotic and today is a sad day in the um in the community of gamers and for guys who love EVGA graphics cards because like EVGA made a decision that they are not going to make any more graphics cards. So the 30 series will be the last graphics cards we will be seeing from EVGA. Um, if you need more information on exactly what happened, you could check out Jay's Two Cents video or you could check out Gamers Nexus video. They have two great videos on the topic, but I am just going to give you my feelings on it due to the fact that I am a EVGA. Let me just move away my mic a little just for a little just see the car. Right, so guys, these are 1660 um super. Guys, it's a dead card, right? I'm going to show you all a picture of my current graphics card inside of my computer and I'm going to show you that it is also an EVGA product so that means that I am one of those customers that will be affected greatly by EVGA not making graphics card anymore because it is my graphics card of choice while purchasing graphics cards so we will be having a big loss concerning um evj in terms of of people who love those cards right so guys um take it while you could get it buy buy up the evga cards and them because just now i feel we gotta be making glass case for them and um having them as souvenirs because the 40 series do not look forward to see another EVGA product as a graphics card well until further notice because I am in in some way in my in my mind I wish that this could just be a dream and EVGA should just like reconsider and start making more graphics card because every generation that I purchase I decide that I would buy an EVGA product because it was my first graphics card that I ever purchased was a 7 was a 760 Ti yeah I think it was a 760 Ti graphics card from EVGA and ever since I had two cards in between and i decided to stray from the brand and then i came right back to evga so i am one of the loyal customers may power supply also i have a 850 power supply from evga also inside of my computer well i can't show it because it's behind a shroud so i can't show it but for sure i would put up a picture of um, the graphics card inside the machine for you all to see it so I feel like if I lost a best friend right now you know it, it, it's hard to express it come like if you, you had some kind of favorite brand you always look forward to buying you wouldn't be seeing it anymore on the shelves or at the stores at the online stores trust me that real sad it's sad so guys we're pulling a harvest Saturday and we're using our old school international to pull it whoa guys It's a heavy load, you know. 
Let me, let me check out the load. Whoa. We got on the road, man. So, guys, I was feeling so happy to hear about the merch. And then this EVG news just come and just get me so sad about everything. I know because I. I was so happy, yes, we go get some cheap graphics cards to buy and all of that, but this EVGA news just come and just overwhelm all the happy news. It come like, I was like, so you mean boy, we go be able to buy GPUs cheap and no more EVGA? Come on, man. Guys, it's a very sad day in history. Very, very sad day in history. Well, I never had to RME a product before, but based on my understanding, um, it's one of the best companies when it comes to customer support and RME in, um, products and stuff like that. So the, the community is going to be in mourning. <laughs> Ah boy, guys, the good guys does always go first, that's just the way it is. So I wonder, in, um, now I'm thinking about what going to be my next brand of choice. Well, um, I like MSI too, eh? I'm a kind of MSI fanboy too, I love to buy MSI motherboards. So. Probably, I believe MSI might be my next choice in terms of buying GPUs. But I wonder if when the um because I say um well, let's follow the tech news very closely, and everybody is saying that the prices is going to plummet further because the prices kind of come down a little since the merge. The merge was yesterday. So we're hoping that the launch of the 40 series got bring the price further down. But when the price come further down, I wanna know what to do if to buy back another EVGA product because they said they're selling out all the 30 series, but you would not be seeing a 40 series from them. So I wanna know if to buy a 30 series another 30 series um evga product just for sentimental purposes you know because i wouldn't be seeing a brand again unless some kind of miracle happen and them guys decide that they go get back into the gpu space again but for sure the, the 1660 that i now show there I'm going to keep it as souvenir. Normally, I just throw them away. But that 1660, I'm going to keep it as souvenir. And even if um, I have a, um, a 16, sorry, a 30, 30, 60 Ti inside of the machine right now. If the 3060 blow, I'm not throwing it away either. I prefer to keep them as souvenir and make a glass case or something and put them in it because i'm not going to be seeing those cards ever again right but the company decided they're not making any more of them so i guess um it, this is a speculation and i want to know if anybody feel the same way in the comment section do we all think that people would sell EVGA cards at a premium because of what happened to the company and they wouldn't be making any more graphics cards so that come like if having an EVGA card right now come like an antique really and truly because you ain't gonna be seeing them after this tell me in the comments below how you feel about that so guys we're looking pretty good on the road here today 
trucking along, chugging along with the old school international. Trust me, guys. It's a beautiful truck. And guys, we up in Oregon, eh? Alright, we're coming through with the old school. Yeah, we're supposed to be going about 25. Alright, we're going up back to 45, so let me give him a little bit more juice. Go down a little harder on the accelerator. The chuck song in good man, the chuck song in good. Tell me all of find the chuck song. Alright, we're going to approach the yard here. Take a white corner and come in. It's going to be a little easier because we're running a cab over. So we're driving shouldn't be too difficult. Alright, so we're just rolling up into this spot. Right, let me pull up the handbrakes and let me check and see how we're looking. Right, so we're looking pretty decent. Right, so guys, it was a successful journey. Sorry to bring some bad news, but it's just what it is. Right, so we're going to see each other the next time I post a video. Like, share and subscribe for more content.